Hello, my lovely Sagittarian. So, Sag, this is your bonus reading. I rewatched your reading and I thought, God, it is so challenging. It sounded really awful. Maybe I should just delete it. I was about to delete it and Archangel Michael said no, because somebody needed to hear that message. So for 99.9% .9 of you, this is your bonus, okay? I may just be channeling one person or a couple of people. Um, I have deleted videos before without posting them. And when I've mentioned that I've deleted videos, I got a little bit of a pushback, as in you should have just posted it. So for those of you who needed to hear that message, that is your message. This is your bonus. Okay, Saj, I've cleared the deck. I've sat in meditation. I've Paolo Santoed everywhere. <laughs> okay. I've even cleansed my crystal with salt water. So let us hope there is going to be some really positive energy coming through. All right. Beautiful Sagis. Let's get into this and see what comes through. So Archangel Michael, thank you for joining us. This is the TGIF reading for my Sagittarians. Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Friday, the 21st of June. This is their bonus reading. Thank you, Michael. Their bonus reading. Thank you. Michael's saying stop, cart the deck. Okay. Wow. Sag, straight out with the King of Coins, King of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, the Emperor. Wow, Sag. So you could be married, you could be married to an Aries or an Earth sign. Or you're thinking about the concept of financial security, moving into husband energy. Ten of Cups. Wow, Sag. Oh, but we have the Five of Wands. Now that can be internal conflict. Sag, for some of you, you may be trying to make a decision as to whether or not you want to get married. For others of you, you're already married, but you've got a few arguments and disagreements in what is generally a pretty good relationship. Temperance, Sagittarian energy. OK, Sag, this relates to arguments and disagreements dying down in a long term commitment. Thank goodness for that. Thank goodness for that. The Wheel of Destiny, the Chariot, Cancerian Energy, okay, moving into a new cycle, we've got good luck here, Sag. The Sun, wow, okay, Leo Energy, moving forward into a place of happiness, peace and contentment. And with the energy of the Eight of Cups, Sag, you may be deciding to move, relocate. Maybe you're realising that the area you're in isn't conducive to your happiness. So Sag, you could be in an area that you're very unhappy in. Maybe you don't feel that you fit in with a community. Maybe it's terribly expensive to live there and you're depleted and exhausted the whole time from overworking. There's something here about environmental factors, Saj, which may have contributed to issues in a relationship. Now, I think you guys may have had a series of conversations about this together. What is the major core issue? Is it us? Have we grown apart? Or is it actually the environment? Maybe other people have been sticking their nose in sand and that's been a lot of weight on your shoulders. Okay. Two of swords. Okay, Sag, two of swords devil. You're finding out what the root causes of these issues. Now, dare I say it, the issues could have come from a Cancerian, a Leo or a Capricorn. You're discussing the root issues and you're basically saying no. 
Two of Swords Devil. We need to get rid of this energy, the world. So, Sag, I think that for the majority of you watching this reading, you're realising that it's not issues within your partnership that cannot be resolved. You guys, in effect, are absolutely fine. Every long-term relationship has its issues. Nothing is perfect. There are always ups and downs. But you guys have had a multitude of problems. And I think these have come from other people interfering in the relationship, environmental issues, maybe job issues, stress with trying to pull together enough money to live a decent life, that sort of thing. And you two have decided to come together to reconcile, move into a temperate place and move forward and potentially relocate somewhere else. Yeah. Closing out a toxic cycle, cutting free of that and shifting in a new direction. Guys, four of cups. Sag, this is you now dreaming of a different life with your partner. Yeah, Knight of Cups, because what you've realised is the love is still there. The love is still there. The core of the relationship is still solid. It is. Yes, you have the odd spat. Yes, occasionally you have a bad day. But I think issues in the partnership which have begun to come to the surface have been made far worse by environmental factors and somebody here poking their nose in. And I think, Sag, you guys have had a lot of conversations about what to do about this. Do we end the relationship? Do we let it go? Or do we make a massive change? And I think, Sag, what you're deciding to do is to pack up the house and get out of Dodge. It's a major decision. But, Sag, I think what you're realising is... This could save the relationship. There's a lot of travel energy here, guys. The chariot is fast movement forward. The sun can be global travel. The eight of cups moving. The world is global travel. Sag, you are leaving behind a toxic situation and shifting your life in a different direction. Guys, this is beautiful. Look at you. Six of swords. Moving to calmer waters. Okay, guys, again, another card of travel. Moving to a different property, right? Six of swords, four of wands. Wanting a passionate new start, wanting to get that passion going again between the two of you. This is also passion for life. With the energy of the hermit, you guys may have been doing a lot of soul searching, a lot of thinking about this. With the Six of Cups, Sag, this is beautiful. That's you two looking at the past, realising how happy you were before and making a concerted effort to build on those past memories again. Let's go back to a time where we were really, really happy. And so, Sag, this is so beautiful, guys. I'm getting quite emotional for you. Four of Pentacles. Yes, it's going to take money. You're going to have to pull in your resources. You're not going to have a lot to spend. But what I think you're realising here, and again, in the background, we have a ship shown here. This guy's actually on a ship. This is a merchant on a ship. What I think we've got here is you two making a massive change. You could even be moving to a different country. So I think you guys realise that unless you did something pretty drastic, this relationship was just going to crumble. And I think one of you put your hand in the air and said, you know what? Do you want to change everything up? Should we do something crazy and impulsive? Should we leave our jobs? Should we get out of this area? Should we move? Should we sell the house or... When the lease is up, should we just move out and move to another country? Sag, if you guys moved for work then you guys may be moving back to your country so you know for instance if you guys are in Australia and you thought oh you know what it will be lovely to live in Europe so you guys moved you lived in Europe for a while but maybe the lifestyle was stressful maybe it was quite expensive to live there 
what you're realising is it's put way too much of a strain on your relationship, way too much of a strain. And so, for instance, you guys may be going back to Oz, back to your family roots, right? Yeah. This is a lovely coming together and understanding what an understanding of what needs to change. And I think you guys are getting quite excited about what's going to be happening for you over the next few months. So let's get some messages, Sag, from the angels. Archangel Michael, what do we have for my lovely Sagittarians? Thank you. Abundance. Yeah. Sag, I think... There was a lot of pressure put on this relationship relating to money. You may have moved to an expensive area. Or you may have got to a point where you were arguing about money all the time. I think this is you going back to the core of the relationship, realising the love is there. And basically talking to your partner about a clean sweep. Yeah. Recovery. So this is you two thinking, all right, well, it's going to be relatively expensive to move. But once that cost has been met, once we've actually moved, we're going to be able to save a lot of money because we're not going to be living in such an expensive area. Or we're going to downsize from, I don't know, a two bed house to a one bed house. Do we really need a two bed house? No. And if somebody comes to stay, they're just going to have to cope with a sofa bed, right? Sad, you're making this decision because you want this relationship to work. Yeah, you want this relationship to work, Sad. You're ready. You are ready for this massive change. This is you both being very honest with each other. The love is still there. It's not us, it's the environment we're in. And also somebody else who may be a next door neighbour, could be a family member, could be somebody that doesn't leave you alone, is sort of causing problems. Yes. Forgiveness. Oh, Sad, this is so beautiful. If you guys ended up having massive arguments, you've forgiven each other. You know, this is you two having a really emotional conversation, possibly starting off with an argument. And then one of you saying, come on, let's talk about this. Shall we end the relationship? And the other one getting all teary and saying, no, I'm sorry. There's just a lot of stress. I'm just really worried. And I think this took off into a conversation about we want to patch things up. Yeah. Yeah. You are moving forward into a different environment, Sag. What you're realising is you need to move somewhere that's more conducive to you two living a happy, successful life. And that is exactly what you're doing here, Sag. You know, yes, yeah. You know there's something better. There's a better quality of life elsewhere where the pressure's going to be off and you guys aren't going to have to deal with other people poking their nose into your business. Yeah, Sag. Perfect timing. Sag, it's the perfect time for you guys to make this move. It may well be that you don't want to do it at the beginning of the year because things are a bit chaotic. People have just started work after Christmas. For some of you, you wouldn't want to do it in the autumn season because maybe the weather's turning. This could be weather sensitive, this move. So I think you're deciding to move around about this period of time before the summer season really kicks in the ideal time. Yeah. Remain positive, Sag. Remain positive, OK? Things are going to work out. Now, it could even be that if you're there thinking, wow, well, that's my situation. I keep having arguments with my partner because there's a lot of pressure in paying the rent, the mortgage, right? We always have nosy neighbours or we live near family and they're constantly banging on the door. If this is your situation, Sag, you may get to a point where you sit down with your partner and say, you know what? I think we should move. I think we should move. Yes. OK, guys. Let's get some messages from your partner to you. 
because I feel sad, male or female. This has been a really difficult up and down relationship. But I do think at the core of things, you guys are strong. I do. So let's get some messages from your partner to you. Here we go. Hidden Truth Oracle. So Archangel Michael, what would Sagittarius's partner want to say to Sag? Oh, wow. I did not expect that. I know I messed up everything. OK, Sag. You know what I think happened? Either you had a massive row and your partner said, OK, that's it. I'm leaving and then bitterly regretted it. Or... Maybe someone cheated. Maybe your person cheated, Sag, right? And maybe your partner messed up everything. And so maybe on top of everything else, all the other pressures, your partner was unfaithful, Sag. Yeah. I love you unconditionally. Oh, Sag. Okay. Yeah. This is you guys coming back together again after a very difficult period of time. Yeah, I think it's changed your person, Sag. They may have realised that unless they sorted themselves out, unless something drastic changed, this relationship was over. So Sag, it looks to me as if your partner was unfaithful um, and together with all the other pressures and stresses, it was just too much. Yeah. Your partner's saying, I lost myself for a little while. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. But you guys are back together or you're coming back together and you're deciding to make a massive life change and shift in a different direction. So I think around about this point of time, you may be deciding to take a couple of days away holiday, you know, two or three days break. It could just be a long weekend and talk through the logistics of doing this. Now, it may be that you guys ride out the next few months and think about moving in the spring of 2025. It could be that that's the way it goes. If not, you've already decided to move. And this is you literally in the middle of packing up boxes. OK, all right, Sadie. So let's have a look at the next few months. Let's have a look at the time now through until the end of 2024. And we will see where that takes us. Here we go, my lovely Sadies. Let's have a look and see what the next few months are going to bring. Archangel Michael, what do we have for my lovely Sadies, please, over the next few months? What do we have for my Sagittarians? This is their bonus reading. For Friday the 21st of June, what do we have for Sag? Thank you, Michael. I don't know why, Sag, I'm feeling a lovely, light, fun, flirty energy coming in. You guys may be learning how to be playful again with each other, you know, because this is, yes, it's going to be a very big change. It's going to be a little bit daunting. Uh, you may feel a bit overwhelmed, but there's this seed of excitement because this is an adventure for you both, you know? Yeah. All right. Let's see. All right. First card out. The Fool. <laughs> yes. You are taking a leap of faith and a risk. And moving. It could even be to another country. This is a big move. This is not you just moving to the house next door. This is not you moving to a house in another area of the same city. You are moving. Different city, different state, different country, you're moving. Yes, the justice card. So Sag, this could be you two putting a house on the market. It could be you waiting for a lease to run out if you're renting. Ace of Wands, beautiful. This is a passionate new start, bringing balance to your situation. Six of Wands. <laughs> so if you're thinking, oh my goodness, I need to get a job in this other place, you know, we're going to be on the breadline. Both of us have got to get jobs in this other area. There will be 
an exciting turn of events where you will get a contract which you're going to feel very passionate about and this is going to lead you into a really good well-paid job and I think once that comes in Sag you're just going to say okay it's go time we've got to get ourselves over there you know yes page of wands very excited Saggy. Now, if you've got a child, Sag, I think your child is very excited because this is something very new for them. A new school, a new environment, a new social network, you know. OK, Queen of Wands. So, Sag, this could be you, as in you could be a feminine. Very nice. Ten of Pentacles. Sag, this is you too realising that... After a few months of doing this move, you're going to be saving quite a lot of money. Yeah, Sag, nine of cups. It may be much cheaper to live where you're moving to, you know. You may be sort of thinking to yourself, OK, well, let's have a look at what we're going to be paid in terms of earnings in this other place. And let's have a look at properties. And what I think you're coming to the conclusion about is if you both work together, pull together, both get jobs, you know, then this is you affording a much nicer quality of life. And that is what it's all about. Yeah, the Hierophant. This is so lovely. This is you too. I'm hearing getting back to basics. Now, if you were living together, but you weren't married... What you're realising this is going to enable you to do is to save to get married, right? <laughs> the Magician, Virgo, Scorpio, Gemini energy. You guys are manifesting a new start. King of Swords, you could be manifesting, talking to someone relating to documents, paperwork, travel visas, work permits... And maybe with a king of coins, someone to do here with property, estate agency. Maybe you're opening bank accounts in the new area. Maybe this is you guys going for jobs. Yeah, I mean, this is paperwork and this is finance. So this is you manifesting the processes that you need to put into place to make this an easy, smooth transition. Mm -hmm. Yeah, guys, this is very, very exciting for you. Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, this is one or both of you getting jobs. King of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles. Eight of Coins. <laughs> and we have reconciliation and a heck of a lot of excitement. Celebrating, getting jobs, celebrating, moving into a new place. Sad, this is just what you needed. Just what you needed. So guys, underneath the deck we have, yep, yeah, five of pentacles. So there could have been money issues, problems to do with affording rent or mortgage, something like that. Someone may have felt left out in the cold, sad, probably you, you know, because it may have been that your partner was working overtime to try and afford the living costs. And this is you feeling left out in the cold. So it just wasn't working. It wasn't working, not pulling in enough money trying to work all hours God sends in order to afford to live where you were living and it just became too much. Two of Pentacles. You were still struggling financially and I think what happened was your partner slipped. It might have been stress at work, there may have been some temptation and I think everything crumbled but with the three of wands, this is you trying to make a decision about moving. Shall we just move to another country or another state? Shall we do it? Shall we do it? The world, global travel. Shall we close out this difficult cycle and start again? Take a chance with a wheel of fortune, move in a new direction and bring back the happiness that we had before. Sag, this is gorgeous, guys. What a beautiful reading. And I'm so glad. I'm so glad. It's perfect. 
What I think we'll do, Sag, is move into messages from the universe. Let's do that. All right, here we go. Archangel Michael, what messages do we have, please, for my lovely Sagittarians? What messages do we have, please, Michael? This is their bonus reading. Messages from the universe. Thinker, yeah. Either you or your partner, Sag, had to do a lot of thinking about what you should do. We got a four there, four, four, 44, actually. Now, four is the number of stability. I think this is you guys thinking, what are we going to do? We can't actually afford to stay here. It's causing us too many problems. Even working overtime, it just wasn't enough, right? Now, two fours are eight, and that is progress. So this is one of you thinking, you know, what can we do to actually progress this relationship and bring back the stability that we need? You're moving. Yeah, Saji, moving. Building blocks. Yes, you are rebuilding this relationship, the foundation of this relationship. Lovely, guys. Lovely. Loyal heart. Oh, Sag. Okay. The love is there, you know, the togetherness is there. This is you two pulling together and realising the issue wasn't you guys. It was where you were living and possibly other people in the mix too. Yeah, this is a much needed change, Sag. Much needed, much needed. <laughs> Perfect. New life. You're going to move into a beautiful new life. A new environment, a new home, a new lifestyle. I think you're going to be feeling less pressurised, less worried about money, okay? And I think this is also going to inject a little bit of excitement in your relationship as well. You know, something to get excited about, something to look forward to. <laughs> Underneath the deck, higher power. Unbeknown to you, Sag, this was all supposed to work out this way, okay? All right, as always, let's close out with a message from Archangel Michael. Archangel Michael, what is your closing message of guidance, please, for my lovely Sagittarians moving into this beautiful new life? Yeah, Sag, I think you know you're finally on the right path or you will be. Archangel Michael, I call upon you now. Thank you for giving me loud and clear guidance that I easily understand. Thank you for motivating me and filling me with the courage and confidence to make helpful life changes. Sag, changes. Yes, you are moving. So my lovely Sagis, this has been a beautiful bonus reading. I'm leaving it there. Take care of you. Have a fabulous weekend and I'll be back before you know it with your next set of readings. See you soon, Sag. Bye now.